What is up, tubers? We're back for some more drafting here on Arena. Got some more of this Wilds of Eldraine as we prep for in another Arena Open. Hopefully we can cash this one just like we did the previous. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmot for all your magic card needs. Get some That's Magic Baby stickers. We'll jump into our pick one, pack one. We've opened a couple of good cards. I think the top amongst them going to be the Tough Cookie. What can you say? Just a good two drop. It does it all. What are we losing out on here? There's a Sweet Tooth Witch and Elvish Archivist. Those are like fine. Cut in, I guess, is also in the pack, but tough cookie. Yeah. Good win gone. Good value two drop. And it's in green. The best color in the format. Duh. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, for, for sure the best card there. And I think we'll just follow that up with Utopia Sprawl. I've been really happy with this card. It's ramp, it's fixing, it is a card that you can bargain away later on. So, some nice one mana value. Uh, passing a second cut in, I guess, would be my biggest gripe with this pack. But uh, I think Sprawl after Cookie makes sense. Ooh, are we going to be baited by the Griffin Airy once more? Seems like I do that frequently whenever we see an early Griffin Airy in draft. This is a really good pack, actually, for what, pick three? Eh, I guess pick three, but... Prism, Brute, Scavenger, Rat, Bolt, Griffin, Courtier. All right, let's get cooking. Let's get Airy up in here as we get a fourth pick Candy Grapple, which makes no sense. Um... So, rare and two uncommons missing, I guess? Oh, I, yeah, maybe. I'd have a hard time believing that many cards are better than Candy Grapple, but... I, I could see two of the three being better than Candy Grapple. We're losing a Return, Knight of the Sweets Revenge. Easy candies there. Should we follow that up with a Minstrosity for some... Uh, more food nonsense, or should I just take the Crystal Grotto now and play it safe? We're probably just going to take the Crystal Grotto here. I'm going to end up with enough playables, so always good to get the fixing early when you can. Wow, nice pack again. Pick six. Rat out, Scream Puff, Brute, Curse, Brave. Hmm. What is the best here? I'm guessing I should probably take one of these non-creature spells. The Curse of the Brave, probably. I think I like taking the fixing, but I wouldn't be surprised if Curse is the better pick. Brave's been really good. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get the Curse of the Werefox now. Whisper, Witchstalker. That's an easy enough pick. Eighth pick, Johan, A. Eh? Hmm. I don't see us playing the Trojan. But, well, no, I guess actually we might still. I think Leaping Ambush is a fine combat trick, but uh, Trojan does still possibly have a chance to make the end result here, right? It's only pack one. We're only really locked into green, I would say, at this point, so. Very possibly could play that. Now we just need a red card to round things out. Green, blue, black, white, and maybe a red. Eh, not the red card. Okay, here's our wheel pack, and we got a Kellen's Light Blade, so we'll be taking that removal. Skybeast Tracker. Gonna need some uh, ways to trigger this, but this is a decent enough one, especially in the food deck, right? Gives you a lot of value. It has a lot of synergy if you can take some of the food. I don't believe I've ever had more than one Griffin Airy in this format. That's a nice prophetic prism on the wheel. Excellent. Yeah, I don't I don't believe I've had more than one Griffin Airy. This might be the draft where we can pick up a second or possibly even a third. Mm, let's go with first horse over second. 
uh, tracker. And some irrelevance. Okay. Yeah, not a bad pack one. Nothing truly bomby, but a lot of just solid cards and some good synergy starts. Mainly looking at like the uh, food slash bargain. Nice rat out there last pick. And a pretty solid set of choices here for our pack two pick one. I think I'm going to lead on the Restless Fortress. Feels pretty likely we'll be running both green, sorry, uh, white and black. Not as good as the green black land, the cottage, but still solid enough, I think. Vanity, cooped up. Some other playables here. We'll wheel something, I think. Easy enough for me. Not going to take the double white on the Grasp of Fate. In fact, uh, I think Grasp would probably be wrong here, right? I think Witch and Fawn make the most sense. It's a second tale for the ages we've seen, by the way. Let's go with the first Fawn over the first Witch. That could be wrong, but Ramp plus Fixing, I think, is a little bit too strong. The old Moon Shaker Cavalry. Obviously, it's insanely powerful. It's just not very castable, I think. I'm supposed to take, like, Hopeless Nightmare here or Ferocious Werefox. That's too bad. Okay, we'll take the Nightmare. We have quite a few bargain cards already, so... Jeez, another candy grapple. Nice, this one fourth pick. I'm really happy I took that hopeless nightmare. Feed the cauldron or hopeful vigil. There's also a return from the wilds in this pack. Not gonna lie, the hopeful vigil's kinda nice, given that I have, what, two candy grapples, light blades, brave the wilds. We have quite a few ways to bargain already, but I suppose the Feed the Cauldron may be just better here. All right, looks like Troyan's going to get the axe. Probably not going to run in, uh, need to run the Light Blades, given how much good removal I already have. So, Looking like a classic green-white food splashing for Griffin Airy. Now, I don't have any top end yet, which is a little bit of cause for concern. In fact, I only have four creatures, so looking at this graceful takedown is pretty awkward. I'm gonna go with the Conceited Witch here instead. Just start getting actual things that can win the game now. Um, how good is Ashiok's Reaper here? Not very. Don't need Wicked Visitor. Curse is good, but when you have this few creatures, it's a little bit awkward, so I'm just going to take Candy Trail. More synergy here for us. Sir Armont. All right, well, there's a good splash card. Always happy for that one. And we have a few other ways to uh, include or introduce roles already, right? We have the Curse, we have the Witch. That was a fantastic, fantastic late pickup there. Red Tooth Genealogist and a Minstrosity on the wheel. Let's take the Mint here, I think. Unlikely to be running any of these. So pack three, we're hoping to just get like a couple of big top end cards. Um... Hamlet Glutton, right? Vanguard would be good, although that's uncommon. I mean, a Scream Puff or two. We saw one or two Scream Puff in pack one, and I end up passing both of them, so. Restless Vinestock. That is the wrong one, darn it. Solid pack, though. Mm, I think this is actually a second Hopeless Nightmare over the Fairy Fencing or any of these other black cards. I don't think Coven would be bad. We have random ways to produce the blue, and then it's just a solid 4-drop, but... I think the Nightmare makes more sense here. 
Jeez. All right. Well, oh my God, this pack is insane. This pack has all the cards we want in it. Oh my Lord. Why? Spellbook Vendor's nuts and definitely worth splashing for. But then we have Agatha's Champion, Fantastic 5-Drop, Royal Treatment, Amazing 1-Mana Trick. There's the Hamlet Glutton we were looking for. Ooh, howdy. Why? Why, 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 why? God, that's brutal. I'm going to take the vendor. It's just, if it's left unchecked, it runs over the game. But passing those top end cards really hurts. Fairy Dream Thief is like fine here. More filler than anything else. Stab Wound is fine here. Same thing with like Shatter. We've seen a couple of Shatters go by. I haven't really noted them. I guess we probably want one shatter as just a way to deal with big creatures, because I can deal with a bunch of small stuff right now. Beanstalk Worm or Shepherd? Beanstalk is, I guess, another win con. I mean, Shepherd is really good here too, though, right? I could cut, like, the rat out and replace it to kill one drops, plus it's, like, a relevant two drop I can play later on. But no, I guess I need the worm. I just need something big. Garbage here for us. I guess another horseman, maybe. Not gonna run two shatters. Would we run two prisms? Wouldn't be the worst. Uh, my creature count's up to 11 now. How many ways to gain life? One, two, three, four. Five. Man, actually, this Griffin Airy is pretty weak. Oh no! A second Griffin Airy! <laughs> oh, I don't have enough food, though. Man, I did end up getting the double Griffin Airy. We just don't have a good deck for it, do we? That sucks. I just don't have enough food. I mean, two different ways for food. I'm going to take the ramp plus fixing. The sick thing is, man, we only saw like one of the... In fact, I believe it only was one hollow scavenger. So, I shouldn't have been in green is what I shouldn't have been in. I kind of first picked the tough cookie and latched on when I don't think it was correct. Probably should have just been green. Uh, sorry, black, white. Black, white enchantments or something, right? Golly. Painful. Did this to myself, though. <sighs> that hurts. All right, Dream Thief out, Baronati out. Double check our ways to gain life. One, two, three, four, five, five plus. With two Griffin Aries, this deck really needed like three or four ways in addition to what we have to gain life. Three or four more ways, I should say. I guess 16 lands wouldn't be crazy when we have Brave and Sprawl. Oh, man, this double Griffin Airy. Could have been so good. I guess this Curse of the Werefox doesn't look that great. And we have enough other good removal anyways. Sadly, the Restless Fortress only gains two life, so it doesn't trigger the Griffin Aries. All right, well, sadness. <laughs> oh.
But it is what it is. We'll give it a shot. Hopefully we can just draw well. No gluttons, no hollow scavengers, just tears. This is a good looking hand though. I mean, I'll keep both. I don't have white yet, but those are both good cards. Please don't torch. No! Okay, that's fine. I get the food. So draw an uncastable next turn. As much as I would like to not use the candy trail, until I get the Gryphon area online. I think it's probably right too. Second catapult A. Eh? Alright, let's just feed the catapult. There she is, nice. Um, so it's brave here, sacrificing the nightmare. We're the scry is gonna go away anyways. It doesn't matter since we're gonna shuffle right after. How dare they block? Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll finish it off. Because playing out the Griffin area that turn doesn't do anything anyways. Jeez! Touché. But, let's get cooking. Let us begin the cookery. What I'm gonna do here is just shatter the catapult. Oh, do they have a torch? Sack the catapult? They must. Hmm. Unless, I guess they could have Monstrous Rage. No, they wouldn't be thinking about casting that. They did, but they're going to opt to torch my swamp here instead of my bird. Okay. And I think we do offer trade. Hey, a food fight! Awesome, but this is not alchemy, so they can't have the, uh... They can't have the, uh... Whatever that one crazy enchantment is. But they do have the food fight plus collector's vault, so... In fact, that is probably gonna kill us, isn't it? The vault plus the food fight. That's really bad. Wow. Wow, we're dead. We're so dead. I don't even... I think I just concede here. What are my outs to this? 
Yeah, I don't really have anything. Every every one of those foods. All right, we're just dead. <laughs> the food fight actually insane there, with the collector's vault every turn. They get to loot, make a treasure, and then they can shoot something for two. The goose was obviously great there as well. Oh, my lord. All right, well. Opponent living the dream over there. I even got to activate my griffin area a couple times. What a beating. What a terrific beating we just took. All right, let's go on to the next. Solid looking hand here. We've got the turn one brave for planes. Turn two cookie, turn three vendor activate. We have the griffin airy as well. This is, this is good. All right, aggro red from the OP. Red, black, attack. Impact Tremors. Nice. Alright, but this is a pretty strong start for us. Because if they're spending their turn killing the vendor, then they're really not pressuring too much. Yeah, I'm not going to block. Pass. Okay, combat. Sure. All right. Rat catcher train me. This is a good old fashioned race, huh? So I have to worry about like Gnawing crescendo or something, I suppose. Yeah, no blocks. Edge wall pack. Okay. I am one damage short of killing the opponent this turn, huh? So, I guess what I'm probably supposed to do is play it safe. Kill the pack. Gain three, make a bird. Now we have two blockers. I think I was just one damage short, right? Yeah. One damage or one mana short of killing them last turn. Because I could have animated the food instead and attacked him for 10. I'm going to block one of the rats with the griffin here. But I don't think we want to lose our vendor. Looks like they've opted to go a little bit more defensively now holding up the ginger brute. That's good for us. Remember, the tough cookie can sacrifice itself. Oh, is that lethal? Mm, no, they have four blocking toughness. But that would give one of them trample. They're taking two, so they're at three in essence. I attack with both. Can make one of them a 4 4 trampler. I don't think that's quite lethal, right?
Okay, well, they weren't dead dead, but uh, looks like it was good enough. Sweet, okay. I think we're getting a little bit fortunate to uh, get these Griffin Aries activated. One and one now. Yes, we'll keep that hand. Game three on the play here. Got uh, good mana. Good mana, we just need to find something to do. I wonder what the maximum number of griffins I could make with this deck is, like, in the perfect ideal scenario. We have two griffin Aries, we have, like, five base ways to make food, right? But then I have, like, double fell horsemen to, like, buy back the tough cookie. I guess the tough cookie is actually two ways. The cookie itself and the food that it produces. Uh, we'll go ahead and just name white here. Uh, hmm. So, I guess we don't actually... Crystal Grotto, then. Not until after we... Brave the Wilds. I'm going to go with Hopeless Nightmare this turn, plus Root Rider Fawn. And then next turn we can uh, brave, a wi brave the Wilds. Actually, you know what? We could Brave the Wilds away the Utopia Sprawl if we really wanted to. We don't need mana anymore, really. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if it's actually worth sacrificing the... Uh, Utopia Sprawl instead. And that way we keep the Hopeless Nightmare for Scry. I actually kind of like that, given how many lands we have in our hand. Use the floating one, sack the nightmare. I <sighs> don't really want the horse right now. Hopefully they don't have a Kellen's Light Blades or something. Good, all right. The swamp not dying that turn was pretty big. Please no feeding on my cauldron swamp. Princess takes flight. Okay, that's good. Tough cookie. Good draw. Sir Armont, that will be a good draw. All right, all right, all right. And we're hoping they don't have Celebrant to bounce back the princess. Please don't hurt me. I won't be able to cast Sir Armont next turn, but I'll be able to cast it the turn after, so just animating the food, assuming all goes well. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they have a stop, so maybe they have... Archon's Glory, or they have some bargain effect here, maybe. Oh, they were seeing if they would draw. Ah, that makes sense. They were seeing if they were going to draw a bargain effect at instant speed.
Not loving my chances here. They just have too many cards in their hand, dude. The troll. Oh, so disgusting. I suppose good news is... We can just sack it for food. Another land, one of the worst possible draws. I think we are very low likelihood to win this game. Given cards in hand and board state, we're going to need to draw pretty well. Painful, man. Painful, painful magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that doesn't matter. Eh, candy grapple or shatter the oath off the top. Griffin Airy. I don't think I'm supposed to attack here. Airy was a good draw. That's a start. Can I have that fell horseman back to get back my food? I guess I have that second horseman. Yeah, that's also pretty bad. <laughs> Same thing, two grapples and a shatter, which can kill the negotiator. Ah, and they didn't have a land last turn, so they have four spells in their hand currently. So they topped the land because they have a six drop or a double white card. No, they already had double white, so it's a six drop. Or maybe they just wanted to, like, double three. In any of those scenarios, not good for us. I would have been tempted to bounce the Acolyte there if I was them. And get back the uh, Princess Takes Flight. Right? Quick target permanent. Yeah, they could have done that. Okay. Feed the cauldron. Create a token that's a copy of target token. All right. Well, let's kill their only token, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to sack the food this time, actually, because if we draw our other Griffin Airy, we'd rather have the food, right? Oh, that's funny. The Fonzbane troll with the freaking Hex Mage. They get to sacrifice the cursed roll. So it fights as the 4 4 still. Nice. This would appear to be a, an, an Abzan Mirror match, but our opponent has rares. They've played three rares already. Versus my puny zero. Oh! Uh, <laughs> why? This is not the kind of practice for the Arena Open that I'm trying to get. Yeah, and that'll probably lock it up, get back there. Princess takes flight. <sighs> not good. Not, not good. Oh, gosh. And the, this is almost the end of the season. I can't drop below the top 250. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my uh, auto qualifier. Oh, no. Okay. We need to get a couple wins here. Let's have a hand with the double Griffin Airy start and at least one or two ways to food. 
gonna mulligan, but eh. Do we want to turn one hopeless? I guess that's fine. Oh, you know what I should actually be doing here? Probably practicing in best of three instead of best of one. Nice draw. <sighs> you can't really bottom a candy, <laughs> candy grapple, can you? <laughs> Regal Bunny! Okay. <laughs> Debating here if I want to bargain the Nightmare away. Or if I just want to sacrifice it here. Yeah, uh, I guess we can wait. No more lands, please. I waited. Because we have the second candy grapple and other bargain cards, I think holding on to the nightmare makes sense. Kept a pretty bad hand for red white, didn't they? Hmm. Aha, I see. Nice draw. Gonna be mana efficient here. Save the candy grapple. Um yeah, we can attack. I'm fine with that. Grasp of Fate. Okay, there goes my tracker. Exile effect too, so we don't even get value from the horseman. Okay. I'm actually going to sack the prism at this point. And that way we don't uh, waste the scry from Hopeless Nightmare, right? And I think here we just for sure run out of 3-3 three, three for 4. Good old hill giants. Swamp dying doesn't put a creature in our graveyard. We don't already have a creature in our graveyard and the opponent's doing nothing, so... Ah, both players had a land there. Creature land. Do I let that happen? I think I do. I don't really care if the horseman dies. Save the Candy Grapple for something better, or the Bivouac, should it be activated later. Them getting a couple of 1-1s one doesn't really concern us right now. Fair enough. Alright, pretty stable game. Or close game, I should say, not stable. Now we will finally pop the Nightmare. Cookie looks good. Kill the Bivouac. And go Cookie, plus animate the food that's already on the battlefield. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Five mana, kill your tough cookie. Not bad. Ooh, gosh, that's a good draw too, but... This is just better. Put him to one. And the thing is, this is going to be an attack trigger, right? So even if they play a blocker, that doesn't work. They need to draw an instant speed removal spell. Okay! Maintain, maintain, maintain. Rank. Two and two. Two more wins. Two more wins. Get to that important four mark. Playing against Gonti, Lord of Luxury. Pretty nice opening hand here. Let's go with Candy Trail set up instead of turn one hopeless nightmare. 
Uh, I don't actually think we want Utopia Sprawl. If the Fawn dies, I lose my white source, but I don't think drawing another mana source at this point is correct, you know? We need to find action. That's good. That's really good. I don't think I can allow that to get countered. I think what I'm going to do here is Hopeless Nightmare and attack for one. Because if they have a Spell Stutter, they could counter the Gryphon Airy. Hmm. They played out Second Island instead of First Mountain last turn. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to sit and wait. Let's go Food and Planes. We can pay for Spell Stutter. When this is just so pivotal to our current game plan, I can't allow it to get countered, so we'll sit and wait. No rush. They're not doing anything. I have a feeling that this is going to get countered if I play it out. There's merit to not even doing anything this turn. But if it is Ice Out, oh, that was Spell Stutter. I was going to say, if it is Ice Out, I want them to use it so that Gryphon Airy can come down. Uh, they could still have the freaking Ice Out. I'm waiting. Five mana pass, five cards in hand last turn. I'll sack the Nightmare here end of turn. Hope to look for something good. I mean, I'll have to top something like Candy Grapple, which we don't want to do, really. But. Spreading Seas, their own Crystal Grotto. Love it. Okay. Conveniently holding up double blue again. That's very good. Wow, that's fantastic. Because if they counter the Spellbook Vendor with Ice Out, we get it back with the horse next turn. And if they do use Ice Out here, which they didn't. Oh, maybe they have a Torch. That would kind of suck. Ah! Worst case scenario, and they're still holding up the Ice Out. No! Now they have ice out with hatching plans! <laughs> God damn it! This is so bad! It's so obvious they have it! God, it's so obvious they have it. All right, well, maybe we can get them to ice out Minstrosity. They'll pull the trigger eventually. Ooh, did not mean to attack. Oh, there's another blue, so now they can play a double blue card and still hold up ice out. <sighs> Will they counter Brave the Wilds? Probably not.
This is very awkward for them, though, because there might be a turn in the very near future where I do something that they have to counter and then I can do something else that they have to counter. Like here now. I'm gonna go with Tough Cookie. I assume this one's getting countered for sure. Here comes the ice out finally, and then I can like shatter and they they might they could have double counter even at this point. Yep. Again, I think this was very obvious they had this. Oh, I meant to click on my land. Whoopsies. They <laughs> did <laughs> All right, and now we can return our cookie back to our hand. Dude, so obvious. Ah. <sighs> well, that's not a good sign. Okay. Uh huh. All right, let's see if they have another ice out. They've used two ice outs and a spell stutter thus far. Dude. <laughs> All right, well, Griffin Aries resolving finally. Oh, why did it use my white source there? Let's get this online now, I think. Oh no. Do they actually have like a torch? Oh, they just have another! Okay. OP on in literal infinite counters. That was a really good draw for them, too. Holy smokies. I guess I could have played around a second spell stutter. Three ice outs, two spell stutters. Oh, well, there's edge wall in. That doesn't get too much right now. Oh, uh, there's Johan, a little bit late to the party. It's a great draw, great draw. All right. Um, yeah, that really makes it tough on them. Because if they're not chumping with Johan, they're taking at least five from the Minstrosity and then at least one from one of these other creatures. Oh wait, no, that doesn't make sense because the Johan would be blocking the Fawn in that scenario. Okay, go to two. I'm going to go back up to 18 and make another 2-2 two -two flyer. Don't you look at your graveyard. Alchemist or something. Alchemist with the Johan's real nice. <sighs> oh, this game. Ice, 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 baby.
How many lands have I bottomed? Oh, I guess I shuffled recently, didn't I? Yeah, I shuffled with the Brave the Wilds. Pretty sure we've scryed a ton of lands, or we did scry initially a ton of lands to the bottom, though, didn't we? So they should probably cast the torch right now in case there's another. Oh uh, no, they know what's on top, don't they? Underneath the torch, never mind. So torch a bird, put a thing on their flyer, play out the alchemist. If they don't play out the alchemist, that's a little bit scary too. We have a ton of cards that will win the game though, right? Any way to kill the flyer is lethal. Jeez! Oh wow, they're killing Sir Armont. Instead of the bird. That is kind of risky. I guess they do get to attack up for a little bit if they want to now. Alright, deck. Let's just put it away here and not have to sweat. What no, what are you doing? Can't attack with that flyer. Don't troll me. That does not win the game. So, I think we do this. They have to trade for the Airy. And the Minstrosity gives us a food. Can we get them? Actually, you know what? Maybe there was a little bit of merit to not attacking with the other griffin. Because maybe it's better to have two griffins here versus their one fairy. That would make us drawing a removal spell a lot better because then they would need to have two removal spells. Now I'm kind of second guessing that attack. Okay, so they need to scry here, it looks like. They need to scry and hope that they can maybe find something on- oh, no, they topped. Well, that's bad news. Damn it. Well, that was already on top then. I wonder if they have, like, they have a black splash. I wonder if it is one of the bargain cards or sacrifice effects. Callous Cell Sword seems like it'd be a little bit weird, but Candy Grapple would make a lot of sense, I suppose. Speaking of, all right, I mean. No other play. Oh, and it was nothing! Wait, what did they top then? <laughs> okay, that was... Oof. Not sure how we pulled that one off, but we did, and... Nice, okay, three and two. Go, go, Griffin Airy. Ah, feels good, kind of. 
I do not think this hand is good. It's got all of our colors, but it's... Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. This hand's okay. I mean, it's similarly not great, but... Get a little scry action. Get a little... Wow. Get a little bit of ramp. And fix there. That's not bad. Something to do on turn two anyways. All right, let's find those Griffin Aries. Bowls of Porridge. Ooh, that is a perfect draw, and we can make it a 3-3 right under the activation of three bowls. No touchy! No! All right. Can get it back later, I suppose. Um, let's go tap for green. Sprawl on black, I suppose, and then go grab another forest here. Make a food. The tracker. All right. Force back our vendor. Vendor. And once again, immediately make it a 3 3. Okay, that's fine. They should probably attack here since they have the bowl. Yeah. So, for the foreseeable future, as long as we have this vendor, all we want to do is get value out of it, and, I mean, if we don't draw any more creatures, that'll be the end of it, but if we can just keep putting rolls on other creatures, that is ideal. Candy Grapple, kind of nice with the vendor, too. We can sacrifice one of the rolls and then immediately remake it. That was their best play with six mana, so I am not unhappy with this development. Brave the Wilds. Oh, similarly here, we can um, sacrifice the roll. Same idea, right? So the swamp does have haste. The land does have haste off of the Brave the uh, Wilds. So they can't actually attack with the Ginger Brute effectively anymore. Two cards left. Tempting Apple. Okay. I will double block their tracker if it attacks. Obviously, I don't care if this just attacks by itself. Nice draw. We've been sandbagging this candy trail because we have the double Griffin Airy, but now with this many foods, we can probably sack it off starting next turn. Or this turn, rather.
Yeah, I mean, I, upon second thought, I guess I shouldn't have attacked with the horseman. I would have made it a 4-4 next turn. That was kind of bad. Regret. That's a little bit of regret. <sighs> Not bad. I guess it doesn't actually do anything currently. Well, we could have run it out as... Maybe I should have done that. That's not a good sign. So they drew a removal spell for my land, I guess? No, they would have killed... Hmm. Well, we'll find out. Interesting. The Glut. Glad we have this Shatter. It's pretty good too. And we do want to replace the roll immediately. That way we continue to get more Scry and we ping them for one. Um... Yeah, that's fine when we have Sir Armont. Okay. Nice. All right, let's go. Frickin' Spellbook Vendor, baby. Did we just get to four wins? You know what that feels like? Excellence. <laughs> Ooh, four wins! Yes. Okay, good hand. Fixing ramp, fixing ramp. No removal, but that's all right. We've got time, I'm sure. Tough cookie and a swamp. Um, we'll keep the cookie. It's not greedy to bottom the swamp since we have not only fawn, but then even if the fawn dies here, we have returned the following turn. Yeah, you just can't block this. It's so bad if they have the uh, Bat Catcher Trainee Pump. But any number of things there would kind of blow us out. I'm going to go like this. Return from the wilds, get a land. I'm actually going to get a creature instead of food. Then we can Conceited Witch the 1-1 one, one token. Have it be a solid enough blocker this next turn. All right, so I'm going to take three, but the Spear Guard will not attack. And now we go Armont, pump up the Fawn. And we've got a pretty stable board state now, I'd say. Gotta find them Griffin Aries. <clears throat> no, no cut-ins. Stop. Stop. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I will double block the pack here, take six. They will get to kill my two, two, but if I get to kill the pack, that's great. Oh, sorry, take 10, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Take a little bit more. A little bit more damage. Um... All right, let's start off by gaining three and drawing a card, seeing what we hit. Because hitting Griffin area there would have been really good. I guess I'm just going to go Tough Cookie Pass. I'm holding up both the activation of the food, but also animate of the food. The Hopeless Nightmare still should be good in the following turns, right? Uh, they did hit 5 mana though, so this is the turn where Imidane's Recruiter nonsense starts to feel problematic. Pass. Well, they're clearly holding up some number of tricks. I'm just gonna go Witch and Pass. Hold up the food activation again. The fact that they didn't kill the tough cookie while it was summoning sick is nice too, because now if they try to kill the cookie, we get to uh, sack itself for some life, right? That's fine. Hell, I might even be able to start attacking next turn. Sweet. It's good too. All right. Nightmare. Let's get one of their cards out of their hand. They did sandbag a land. Tracker pass. Since we have the worm, um, let's get the tracker online first so we can get some more food. Where the Marys? Uh. Yes to both of those. Sheesh. Well, that's great. I'm going to need to start attacking here soon, but... Given the fact that we're drawing two removal spells, I guess I'm going to wait one more turn. I'm going to sacrifice one of the foods right now while we have the mana two, just to use it up efficiently. And now we can start, like, animating our... Prisms and whatnot. Attack with Prism and Bean. Nice, okay. Man, we've done a good job of grinding them out here, haven't we? Three cards left in hand. <sighs> Cheeky house mouse. I'm going to use feed the cauldron here instead of grapple, since grapple can be... Uh, Used to kill a larger threat. All right, good enough. Looks like they're just going to scoop it up. Woof. The comeback. I think we were a one and two to start, and now we're five and two. Sheesh. In that game, we didn't even draw any Aries. Feels good. Uh... 
All right, all right. Griffin Airy, let's go. And a potential food, I guess. Do we want a grotto on turn one? Mm, I don't think I am going to grotto on turn one. Because it's okay if we draw a land or spell, right? Now we will, since we don't need any more lands for the foreseeable future. Yeah, we'll keep the worm. It's a way to trigger the uh, tracker. Oh, I should have played out Prism there, probably. Since Aerie is not going to be utilized for a little while, but the Prism might have drawn me into a uh, castable spell here. So discerning. I don't normally like doing this when I don't get value immediately from the vendor, but um, the only thing that punishes me is Torch the Tower, right? That ain't no Torch. Alright. Uh, no, that's fine. Right? That's a food and a land. Because we want to keep utilizing the vendor as long as we keep having creatures, so... I'm going to go return from the wilds next turn in addition to vendor on the tracker now instead. Oh, this was a little bit of a mistake, though. I should have returned from the wilds pre-combat, because now I'm shuffling away the scries. Whoopsies. So that was a small mistake there. Feels like they have a Hamlet Glutton that they can't cast right now. Okay, there it is. Yep. So, Beanstalk Worm... Get a food. And I'm going to just make a bird this turn. We don't need the vendor activated ability here. That's only annoying because the Beanstalk Worm now, when we grab the vendor back, uh, will not be able to attack into the Glutton even with the roll on it. So we have perfect mana next turn to go return the vendor, play the vendor, act well, now we have one more. But As I was saying, we had perfect mana to... Return the vendor, play the vendor, activate the vendor on the flyer, and then sack our food and make another flyer. Feed the cauldron. I'm going to keep that since they have the toadstool admirer and it makes a food for us. So basically, it is kill their admirer, make a 2-2 flyer, gain 3 life. The beans! Up they go. How close am I to attacking with everything next turn once I kill the admirer? Pretty damn close. Oh, I take that back. 
All right, vendor down once more. If they do have a land in hand, they should play it to activate the Admirer. That seems good. It's Ward 2. Yay! Man, six and two now! Can we get one more win for the trophy? God, it's kind of feeling like uh, maybe we could get there. Is this confidence? Is this hope? Can we do it? Can we get a double Griffin Airy game one time? See, I don't like these hands, but it's a keep, right? Who I say. So brave. Alright, there's the planes. Now let's draw some Griffin Aries and some foods. What did they grab? Mountain? We're gonna get beat down by red green. Discarded a fawn? <laughs> I don't like that. They have better two drops or another fawn or something. Bramble familiar, okay. Just immediately eat that with the candy. And then we draw Spellbook Vendor off the top. Please. Not quite, but hey, that's a good draw. Um, we want to make a 1-1 one -one here since uh, we're going to Sir Armont next turn and we want a creature on the battlefield to pump up, right? Okay... Taking six this turn? And they grabbed another swamp. But had another forest for a tough cookie. Uh oh. Starting to fall behind here. Um, yeah, Armont. They only have one unknown card in their hand, so if it's not a removal spell, they have a hard time making great attacks except for the cookie animate, right? We would love to see just Tough Cookie animate food and swing. Okay, that's also fine-ish. It's so awkward not to attack here, but... I mean, they topped something. If they topped a removal for Sir Armand this turn, we kind of die. That's not too bad. That's just a big flyer, because they can't exile anything. Otherwise, they wipe their own board. Actually think we start attacking now, right? And we're going to go horse, plus put the roll on it to make it a 5-5. Five, five. Jeez, what a top deck. Oh my lord. Okay. That's brutal.
three, six, nine, ten, three, six, nine, twelve. They have to make blocks here. All right, let's go. Feed the cauldron was decent enough for us. That gutter dweller, though, was an insane draw. Shoot. Okay. So Sir Armont sadly doesn't trample here. Doesn't matter which one we kill, right? Not sure why it tapped out of white, but oh well. They hit a Hamlet glutton? <laughs> oh, okay. This game is so freaking close. I don't think they can attack with very much. Because remember, if we activate the Restless Fortress, that's immediately minus two life. I think our attack last turn was super good. We were able to kill and keep our Sir Armont alive because they only have a uh, 10 damage to our 11 attack here. Sorry, they only have 10 damage to our 11 life here. Okay, Menace, so I cannot block. It's probably sacrificing the rat, right? Preserving the food for their glut. Okay. Don't we have lethal, though? I animate the fortress. They're at five. No, I don't have lethal. They go block, block, block. They don't die. Block, 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 don't die. Okay. That's pretty good. Rat out. Okay, so now I have them at one, two, three, four, five lethal, right? They go to three, they take three. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God, I almost mistapped there. Oh, it's four to animate. Oh, I, why did I think that was three to animate? Oh. Disregard. I do not have lethal. I'm one short. Wow, why did I think this one was three to animate? Okay, I'm silly. Um, so I guess we have to pass here. Shoot. I mean, the Hopeless Nightmare was a fantastic draw, but ah, wasn't as close as I thought, huh? Or, well, yeah, it was close, but... Damn. And now they can go back up to 11 life because they can sacrifice the cookie and the food. Gee, stop! 
They can't play it out though. I think they have to hold up the food activations, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, they're not dead. They're safe. I need to draw removal. I can put them to one life now. We have a couple of wicked rolls, but they don't need to trade for my wicked rolled creatures. I guess the worm is a keep. It blocks the specter, plus it lets me still gain three from the food here. My opponent's due for a land. But then again, if they draw land, they get to double activate food. Oh god, does that kill me? I'm at seven? No, I could go to one. <laughs> I would... Take the hit from the red cap gutter dweller and the tough cookie and go to one life. Well, this is certainly a good final boss, that's for sure. Oh, my lordy lordy. Pretty crazy final game, huh? Man, if I sacrifice the food end of turn and then draw Griffin Airy, it's just so bad. Well, it looks like they're still thinking about attacking. I'm pretty sure I don't die, right? They go animate, animate. They have seven creatures. I block five, but I can't double block. So yeah, I would take six damage, go to one. But... What that does mean is that Armont would have to block the Hamlet Glutton. And I would lose all my creatures. Or the majority of them. But that being said, they, I would, they would take two damage from the rolls. Right? So I don't think I'm supposed to sacrifice the food here. Because we have the two Griffin Aries. Man, this game is very close. All right, well, they drew something. Have to block. Yeah. Nothing I can do about that top deck. Oh, yay, yay. All right. Brutal.
So if I play the Griffin Airy, sacrifice the food, go to seven, I cannot activate the Restless Fortress or whatever it's called. I would only have five blockers. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, same scenario. I think it's right. Ah, man. That leaping ambush draw. Brutal. So I'm gonna go down to four again. Pass. I guess that works. Six blockers to seven attackers. Oh no, I might have just left myself dead actually because of the menace on the red cap. Oh, I'm actually dead here. Aren't I? Yeah. Yep, I'm dead. GG's. So what was supposed to be my play then? Actually, maybe I didn't have a play. I might not have had an out here. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I had an out. I think I needed to have drawn a removal spell cuz I should be dead on board if I'm doing the math correct. Yep, and I think they see it too. Fudge. Oh, man. Good game. Got a couple of sick draws, but that'll do it. Have to block like that. Have to double block the uh, stupid gutter. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alive. Yeah, I don't think we had an out. Ah! Because I can't play the horseman out and hold up the restless fortress either. Oh, what a tight one! Ah! No, I didn't have fun. That was a good game, though. They played it well. I'm sure I made some mistakes somewhere, but man, they had some hot draw. That red cap gutter dweller was the start of the pain. We had some good draws too, but we needed to find one of our candy grapples or something a little bit sooner. All right, GG's. Hey, six and three can't be too mad, especially since I didn't have that much top end. We just had a lot of good early game interaction. Vendor did some heavy lifting. Griffin Aries were actually pretty great there. We'll see you back next time for some more. Thanks for watching.